Hi everybody, I'm Lucas Rucchi, I'm coming from, uh, from the Zenet in Mac in uh, Trento. And I'm going to present uh, Orgeo Life, the one, the product of Orgeo Foundation. Uh, what is Orgeo Life? Orgeo Life is a, a virtual machine or live DVD or uh, USB stick bootable uh, system. It contains a lot of uh, free software GIS and uh, it's, uh, the six, this is the sixth release and you can see some of the projects that are uh, included in this kind of uh, project and it is the simple way to test the GIS free software because you can uh, launch that DVD in your PC without uh, uh, modify your system and you can test all the software in history, the first release of the live CD containing GIS software is from 2007. Ricardo Pino, the Brazilian guy, started uh, this project. And uh, from 2009, during the Fast4G Sydney, Orgeo community started to release each year a, a new version. But uh, in 2010, uh, some people, especially from the uh, Dutch community, they asked for a new release for the top five because they had conference in uh, March usually and the uh, version, the stable version is released for the Phosphor G conference in September and for, for six months there are a lot of uh, updated software and uh, they would like to uh, use the last version. Now we are at the 6.0 in uh, September, September 2012 and we are working to release the new one in uh, February. And obviously there will be also a new version in the 7 of the year for the next Phosphorgy conference in the Nottingham and September. So I would I say before the Corte Orgeo Live is a, a Orgeo product is uh, maintained by the community obviously and uh, the supervisor is the Orgeo marketing and the uh, Orgeo Live is led by Cameron Shorter, now he is also in the board of Orgeo and uh, is uh, one of the group uh, of marketing uh, commit. Obviously it is a collaboration of a lot of people, it is uh, more than 70 people, uh, the developer, packaging system, administrator and the top people that create documentation and the translation. Okay. The, in the last version, the live DVD became more a virtual machine because we found that the virtual machine is better, better, best, the better, the best solution to use during workshop, and uh, it's faster than a live DVD. In the same uh, situation, you don't modify the operating system of your machine. Is, uh, more view of the software contained in the uh, so, software so You don't need to, re to reboot your machine, just put the CD in with some. Uh, if, you, okay, if you use the live CD, you have to reboot your machine. But if you use a uh, virtual machine, you can okay. use it. Yeah. Uh, we usually use uh, it uh, with VirtualBox, that is free software. And uh, we use it for uh, the workshop in uh, Turin with the Italian conference of uh, software and it works quite well. Uh, obviously there could be some problem with uh, the machine not very powerful. They need at least two gigabytes of RAM, one for the system in the machine and one for the virtual machine. But if you run a job that uh, it's better to have uh, at least two gigabytes of RAM 
also for the machine because the lady and uh, all of And the other part of stuff we use, uh, we put inside some jet data, data, free data, obviously, and we use the natural earth, uh, basic map, and the uh, North Carolina that is uh, packages of free data from North Carolina, North Carolina used by North Carolina University for uh, the courses during the university. I'll show you what you have to do in Geolife uh, 6.0. This is the one client, the layer maybe is the more uh, knowledge, but there are also other, like journalism, not matter to the Mapfish. Mapfish, it's not a linear client in the last version, but uh, you permit to uh, exchange data from the server with the client. There are two software for crisis management. You already see some uh, screenshot of uh, Ushuaidi, and the other one is Sana. We have four geodatabases, what is that? Sandra already presented this one. Spatialite is the uh, SQLite uh, spatial extension. Rathdam is a software for uh, a part of the database for Raster, especially. And PG routine is the extension for do routing with the PostGIS. With a lot of desktop Gs, you already you should know QGIS or us, you see the beauty Cosmo, and there are a lot of uh, GeoBabishel and the Atlas Sky are, will be removed in the next release because the software are not more uh, maintained by the community. We have post a lot one service. There are services for uh, more uh, common standard, Kujichi standard like uh, <coughs> WPS, WMS, WFS, and uh, also some software to make ties like proxy. We have QJS server that we use uh, uh, the uh, QJS project to create some Kujichi uh, standard uh, format. There are some software for navigation and maps. Also, there are some software for OpenStreetMap, like uh, JOSN and uh, uh, Osmosis. Z -Grip, so it's a really software in, to work with the forecast map. You can download the forecast map from the from forecast weather map for, uh, from NASA and they use them. Marmory is a, a software to show map on KDA. There are other special tools like GDAL. There are mapping to create uh, rendering, map uh, tile to create ties, DB and R. And uh, in the end, there are libraries to, to work with geospatial data. The last is to work with the uh, LiDAR data. It's very beautiful for us. Some features about documentation is the home page. You can see there is a lot of uh, languages. The documentation is translated in more than 10 languages. And uh, each software included in the uh, live DVD has a uh, quick start for uh, people that don't know the software, they can make uh, the quick start and there is uh, some examples or how to install the software and set up it. And also the overview where they show what is the capability of the software. So uh, in a simple way you can uh, uh, see what is doing that software and if it's beautiful for you. After the quick start with some examples. Everybody of you can help to improve your life working on the, the projects that are included in uh, your life or to add new project. In the last, in the future version, there will be some new software like Time Meal. and uh, you can test in the list candidate and uh, uh, 
or some bug in the bug tracker and uh, helping the translating, uh, especially for Italian when we are quite close to, call, uh, to translate all the document inside the documentation, but uh, maybe 45 um, documents are missing, so if you want help to us, you can write me a mail or chat later. Uh, for the other <coughs> country, you can see, I show you, after the presentation, I show you a different language that already translated. And uh, if you want to add one, you can uh, find all the instructions in the Orcheo Wiki. And that's all. This is the slide repo. You can find this slide. These slides are uh, taken by your uh, presentation of uh, Jorge Sanz. That is uh, take, we took in uh, Barcelona <coughs> last year, and I changed it. Only sounds right, so I have to say thanks to George to create this presentation. If you have any questions, then ask you. I show you only the <coughs> languages that are already translated. Just one more yeah. question. Uh, do you have any statistics about uh, how many people use? Uh, this uh, is Geo. Okay, there is on the wiki. Every time that someone that is uh, taking a presentation or uh, a workshop with Geo, we put in the wiki to maintain a history. So we should be able to.